guys, this is Lecha from Extra Elementor Addons and today I'll show you how to create a stunning bento grid layout using the Elementor's new grid item feature. So what is a bento grid? A bento grid is a structured layout with different size content blocks, just like a bento box that keeps the food neatly organized. It helps present content in a clean, modern and visually appealing way. It's perfect for blogs, portfolios and landing pages. Basically, anyone who wants a simple yet stylish design. So, let's dive in. So, here you can see this bento grid layouts that we are going to recreate. Just look how they have neatly organized and arranged the content. So, first, I'm going to drop the flexbox with 1280 pixel. If I content center, Changing the container's color to black in the styling tab. Let's drop the image widget. Setting an image. Resolution to full. Alignment center. Let's drop the free heading widget by XPro. Changing the title. Alignment center alignment. Customizing it. Next, the grid container. I want to have two dimensions and it is possible with grid container only. If you want to learn more about Flexbox and grid container and their difference, we have a video on that. Make sure to watch that. I only need two columns, so decreasing the columns to two. I'm going to add a Flexbox container in the first cell, since I need to add more than one widget in it. And it is not possible with grid. Let me show you an example. I have dropped the heading widget and now when I try to drop the image widget in the same container, the image widget moves into the next cell. That is why we're going to add a flex box. Now I can add as many widgets as I want. By the way, this is called container nesting. Let's adjust the container settings. Mm, the flex and grid need some spacing. So let's add some padding to the grid, 50 to the top, perfect. Customize the container. Get a color from the style tab. Scroll down to border and here I'm going to add 30 pixels to all sides. As I want the container to have slightly curved edges for bento. Box shadow is fine. And now time to drop the widgets. Dropping the image widget. Selecting image. Now the advanced heading by XPro. Customizing it, title, I don't need subtitle, separator or shadow text, adding description, and now time for styling, alignment left, let's quickly get this done. Oh my, I forgot the heading has to come before the image. Let's change the position. Perfect. Now selecting this flexbox container to add padding from the advanced tab, 20 to the right and 20 to the left. The content seems fine. Now let's quickly customize the second container. Dropping the flexbox container. Selecting raw direction this time because I want two widgets side by side. Justifying content, adding the same color as the previous one. Now onto the border, adding 30 pixels to all sides, not changing the box shadow. So now let's drop the image widget, selecting image, full resolution, alignment center, I want the advanced heading widget. Let's copy and paste it over here so I don't have to do the styling from scratch. Just changing the titles and description.
adding padding to the container. So the third cell will have the same settings. So copying this container, pasting it, changing the image and text. Perfect. Finally, the last cell. Cropping the container, customizing it. Image widget. Copying and pasting the advanced setting. Changing it. So, we have set the structure, now time to play with the new feature. Select on the fix box, in the advanced tab, you will see the grid item options. You can increase the column and row span however you like. I'm setting the column to 1 and row span to 2. Now, it takes 2 column space. See how the other cells adjust automatically? Don't worry if it looks a bit off. We will fix it by adjusting the grid structure. For the second cell, one row and one column the way it is. For this, keeping one row and one column. And finally, for the last cell, one row and two columns. Mm. Let's shift this cell to here by simply dragging and dropping it. See how easy it was. And here we have successfully created the Bento Grid layout. So using this feature, you can have control over your design, like changing it to 3, 1, whatever you want. Okay, so now on to the next layout. It is already made, the grid has 4 columns and 1 row as you can see over here. Next the containers, added 20 paddings to all sides in the border added 30 pixels to all sides as I did above used advanced heading title subtitle and images next let's play around with the grid items for the first two containers column 1 and row 1 And for the third column, column 1 or 2, oh sorry, I selected 1, changing it to 2. And for the last container, column 2 and draw 1. And it's shifted over here. Now, you might be confused of why we have this extra space or gap. Well, if you remember, we had set the columns to 4 in the grid. So since this container shifted here, it automatically leaves a space for the fourth column. And here you can see this container taking two column space. So what I'm going to do is just change the columns to three. And there you go, the extra container is deleted. We got the structure we wanted. So yeah, with the grid item options, you might have to play around with this column and row options. Finally, the third layout using the same techniques which we used above. A grid with row and columns, use flex box, added paddings to the left and right, added image in the container background. We're soon releasing a video on how to add image in the container background. If you want to learn more about it, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. On to the grid item, setting the column to 1 and row to 5. And here it has taken 5 row space. For the next container, Setting the column to 2 and draw to 5. And now you can see that the container has shifted here. It is because in the grid structure, we selected 2 rows and 2 columns. This container has already taken 1 column space. That means only 1 column space is left. However, we decided for this container to take 2 column space. So that is why it shifted down here and has now taken 2 column space. But don't worry and cross the process. Now on to the next container, selecting two columns. See, as soon as I have selected two columns, it takes two column space and the next container shifts below. 
I know it can be a bit confusing, but with practice, I'm sure you guys can do it. Changing the row to five. Finally, the last container, column span to one and row span to five. Okay, so I want the containers side by side. So selecting the grid and now changing the column to three. And just like that, the containers are back to their position. The first container taking two columns and the second container taking one column space. So that's it. Hitting the publish button and there you have it. Successfully created our first ever Bento grid layouts using this new feature. So this is it. I hope you like this new grid item feature. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to your YouTube channel for more amazing tips and tricks. Oh, 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 oh,